For my young arts application in theater, I'll be doing violin. For my application to young arts, I will be dancing for a Trust what's coming out of your head. Place to go walk, walk, one more time. So this is one of the oldest tricks in the book. It really happened to you once. It's happening here. Well, one of the nice things about working with young writers is they haven't learned how to compromise yet. They haven't been taught that success in the arts means selling out. If I was famous like him, I would certainly not want to talk to young writers because we're just students and we know absolutely nothing. And what we have to say is just inane, horrible, stupid, trite comments about absolutely nothing. Creativity begins in the unconscious. Suddenly we become aware of the fact that we are with poem or that we're, <laughs> or, or that we're with play or we're with short story, right? You write a play, you're, you're trying to change the world, you're trying to make everybody think the way you think. You're holding a mirror up to people. You're saying, look, this is the way you jokers behave. All art is, is there to change our perceptions and make us see things more clearly and more fully. That's your job, to change people. One of the things that distinguishes us from all the other animals is that we're the only animal that makes art. Our tails fell off and we invented metaphor. <laughs> I was kind of expecting there to be a certain distance, a certain remove, just because, you know, it's Edward Albee. And he was just like so candid with us. There I was, 28. I was, I was a lapsed poet, a failed poet, terrible novelist, incompetent in the short story. What to do? What to do? <laughs> so I wrote a play. And it was called The Zoo Story. And everything changed. I think people should be adventuresome. I think people should make mistakes, make interesting mistakes. The trick is making the more interesting mistakes and doing stuff that you may regret, but uh, what's wrong with regret? After the workshop, I wrote him a letter asking his advice about what I should do after high school. And then he wrote back and said, you need to be in the real world. I really think he was encouraging us to have sort of our own journey, our own Albi journey. So I decided to take a year off before college to come to Paris to live. That probably ruined his life, great. <laughs> I know it sounds like a cliche, the young writer goes to Paris to write, but it's true. Talking with Edward Albee changed why I write what I write. It really did.